Grab everything that you've got. Where the hell are we? Where are we headed? Due north. It's a hike and another 10 minute ride in. What, man? Are you serious? Because you already had us traveling an hour in the wilderness. It's a matter of text. Tired already? Fuck you, man. Come on, man, it's freezing here. Let's keep it moving. Ready to win this? Sleeping bag. Josh. Thanks. I can't wait to get to Florida. We can share lodgings. <laughs> Think you're overdoing it? We're just kids. That's an exact science. All aboard! Hose before bros. Yes. I'm going in the back. Drink cocktails. this one. Over the next few hours, copper oxide from the coins will react with the body fluids. Leaving a coin imprint on the body tissue. Used for determining the length of time the body's laid there. Smart. These kids won't know what's hit them. Anything I should know about? They've been washed down with acid long ago. Used for our company's offender rehabilitation programs a while back. You can't leave dead bodies lying around a national park. Thirteen Erie's the ideal spot. No one's been here in years. It's gonna feel more like a boot camp than a science retreat. Well, unfortunately, most crime scenes are inhospitable. My students are up to the challenge. You hear that? What? That's just it, nothing. Where's the wildlife? Larry, how'd you get involved in this? Probation. So not your first time on a prison bus. Anything about this place we need to know? All you got here is uh, Guantanamo Bay's ugly twin sister. A joking aside, some bad shit has happened here in the past. Great. Well, what you got is your new demor. You are? Right? Disaster mortuary operational response team. Go, Daniel. What kind of bad shit? I don't know. Take a look. Your guess is as good as mine. Oh, man, welcome to hell.
Driver's Larry Jessup. I have him set up the communication system you want. He'll assist you. You can rely on him for anything you need. Larry Jessup. Tompkins. I'll be your chauffeur, your chef, and your all-around dog's body. I need you to charge up the communication batteries. Okay. Welcome to Erie Strait. There are only two places available in the forensic trainee scheme. You will need to work in pairs. Each group will be assigned a plot within the complex. Study it thoroughly. Some of you will be working alongside entomology. Others will be combining your expertise in toxicology and geology. This is quite deliberate. Forensic science DMORT internship does not discriminate science applications when full passenger flight or passenger train crashes. Compound secured perimeter means nothing gets in or out. Plot 13 Erie Strait is now uninhabited, surrounded by low-lying swampland. If you check page two, there are three basic cabins. One is for food and equipment, the other is for accommodation, while this one is for surveillance and instructions. Erie is out of range for cell phone use, so you'll be given walkie-talkies. Each site is in a remote area of the camp, so there will be no contact between groups. Questions? No, good. Get your things, we'll meet back here. Looks like we're on different teams. Just as well, you don't cheat at pathology. I'm with Josh. Uh, this was Stetson. One thing's for sure, this place is a rat hole. This is gonna be like a day trip with Charlie Mitz. Oh, no, 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 the meat goes over there. That is not the kitchen. Uh, drop it and come back for your kit. What's in them? How would I know I dropped the bus? Just uh, drop your stuff and come back for it. In there, but don't touch anything. Done by breakfast. Better be. Gotta get those bodies back to the morgue. Beds are for sleeping only. Any more than one person per bed, and it will break. Is that a joke? It's a joke. That was a joke, right? <laughs> You're fucking kidding me. What, were you expecting me to get a mint on your pillow? Yeah, that's right. Oh, shit. I will take this one. <laughs> you getting friendly with the locals? There's <laughs> much. Prof wants us back at the command center. That used to be a cat. Daniel's already got some pussy in his bed. Meow. <laughs> Time is 1120 hours. Get into your designated groups. You will be working in isolated areas. Personal radio contact is strictly prohibited. Conversing outside of your allotted team will disqualify not only yourself, but your partner as well. I will lead the chemical analysis tomorrow with Captain Veneziano. It will be cold. You'll work through the night. Criminals don't pick the perfect beach in Hawaii to make life comfortable for forensic scientists, so get used to it. Pick up your gear on the way out, and good luck.
See the prison back there coming in? Whoever was there before sure didn't want people leaving in a hurry. What the hell have I got myself into? Dude, it's just a field exam. Yeah, buddy, I just get a little bit claustrophobic. Well, man up. Why don't you shut up? I couldn't have picked a worse place to die. Eleven fifty five hours. Taking trace evidence of soil mineral. What looks to be dried blood. Ready? Yeah. Megan's. That's our first line of investigation. gonna puke, do it in the bushes, otherwise you'll contaminate the area. No, I'm fine, man. I'm okay. Fifteen millimeters. It means a corpse has been dead one week. Look, people casings. They've already started the metamorphosis into adult flies. Group C, you're gonna need to collect the larva and prepare a full field analysis. How long do we have? All night. But don't drag your heels. Sundown in approximately three hours. Oh, and by the way, I've downgraded you both to 60%. Due to Mr. Novogratz throwing up. A cold one on me, Colonel fucking Mustard. analysis.
temper temper. Yes. You heard about this place, right? Why? Well, you heard the rumors. Eerie pan, death row inmates, one-way ticket. Government started doing crazy tests. And poison ends up in the water supply. Women start having babies before the time or worse. I mean, nothing lives here. No one lives here. What are you trying to tell me? Two of my chickens are missing. Maybe they flew away. This is a scientific examination, Mr. Jessup. My students are working into the night. We have a responsibility to them, so I would appreciate it if you could deliver the food to the groups. Just follow the colored flags. Gee, Larry, welcome to summer camp. What are you doing? Shit. How you doing? Here. Fluids on that coin and the imprint left on the body will tell us how long it's been here. You running it? me to a bunch of college boy jerk offs. Should have stayed in jail. Back there was your side. Where's the markers for your body? When you're standing on one, you can clearly see the site we're working in. You got two bodies? <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't be so close. Some people can have unexpected issues with this type of medical science. Listen, baby doll, I know what I saw. There's another body. A woman, kinda. At 200 yards up by the ruined building. You don't believe me? Go take a look for yourself. Group A, you are not allowed to speak to any third party. Mr. Jessup, I have already told you this is a scientific field exam. We're midway through a forensic medical procedure. Professor Tompkins asked you to leave. I'll go take a look if you want. Be my guest. <laughs> Is that one of yours? No. Professor Tompkins over? He may go ahead. Did you put out three cadavers for medical research? Yes, why? 
Well, we've located another one. She's female, Caucasian, approximately 30 to 40 years of age. Impossible. Go back and support your colleague. Do you copy? She, she moved. Idiot. No, she... Miss Cranston, report back to your team leader. Mr. Jessup, report back to base. Over. Yes, sir. This place is one stop from hell. Stage decomposition. Temperature must have been over 52 degrees Fahrenheit for the boat flies to fly to the cadaver. They also like salsa, playing poker, and they make a mean margarita. Saw something over there. Look, we've already been downgraded because you puked, so let's try and get this part right, shall we? So the temperature must have been over 52 degrees Fahrenheit for the bow flies to fly to the cadaver. Larry was right. There's a female corpse in our patch. Maybe we should go take a look? Uh, well, we've only just started analysis on this one, so why don't we get cause of death first, and then I'll go take a look with you. Tompkins didn't say there'd be two. Well, that's the thing with the professor. He is always challenging us, setting up situations. That's why he's the best, and that's why we are here. Should we check in with him? Uh, walkie's down. No. And he said we were on our own. So, what's he always telling us? Forensic science is a slow, patient, and dedicated analysis. Right. It's all in the details. That's how you catch bad guys. So, why don't we please just concentrate on Our Lady of the Lake here? Because I need this internship. And not all of us have private funds to get us through college. Well, what if we're supposed to find him? Remember what Evenick told us happened last year? Well, if you're so worried, why don't you take this, get us something to look at, and come back in like five minutes. I need you. Hold on a second right there. Hey, 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 stop, wait. This is a contaminated area. Well, whatever, man. Can I help you? Watch your back. What the hell does that mean? No. Smells like dog food. <laughs> My battery's dead. One's on the way out as well. See, how far have you gotten with your measurements? Sir, Rob's got 95% of the larvae measurements. 
Charlie's battery pack on walkie talkies. Damn it. Should we head back to camp and replace them? Report back to base. Copy that. I'm headed back. Found some tissue under the fingernail. Head back and take care of this battery situation. See that? Look, I swear it was someone in an orange prison suit. A lifer jumpsuit. You been smoking some of Larry's pot? Group A, Group A, return to base camp. Over. Group A, Group B, can you hear me? Larry, where the hell are you? Professor? Professor?
priestess on the corpse. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Should I leave you too long to get it off? There. Did you get anything out of the walkies? No, not a thing. Also, we're out of body fluid cleanup. Do you hear that? Yeah. These guys are probably just messing around. We need to cross-reference your results from the fluids on that coin, but I think this body's been in here about 12 hours. Daniel, Meg, is that you? Where? Oh! You all right? Just let me out. Just well, let me, just, let me okay, out. Just wait, just wait. Fuck! Ow! Oh, fuck! Let me out, man. Oh! Ow! Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey. What's, what's up? Don't panic. Just breathe into it. You'll be okay. Where are you going? What are you looking at, man? There's nothing there. Go to see the prof. What? No, no, man. You don't quit on me. I'm not quitting on you, Patrick. Everybody gets the shakes, man. It's common. It'll blow over. That now, come on, wasn't Josh. someone just playing around, and I just saw something move in the woods over there. Well, you can't just leave me here. God damn it. Hey! Don't go in the shock. Don't go in the shock. Don't go in the shock. Listen, stay awake. Uh -oh. Okay. Hi, babe. No, stay awake. Oh God, sorry. Okay. Shh. Listen, listen, listen. Uh -oh. Just gonna sting a little. Oh. <laughs> Professor. Daniel? Anybody? It's been hurt. No. Oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 no. C, Group A, can you hear me? Group C, Group A, come in, over. Where the hell have you been? The communication system's completely screwed. The monitors are going down. We've got to get those kids out of here, and I mean right now. Really? And what do you base that conclusion on? Something was following me. Moved like a man. Sounded like an animal. I hit my hair. I was out cold. I was so still that it lost me. See, I spoke with Veneziano when I got this detail. He knows all about it. I thought he was pulling my leg, you know, trying to put a scare on me. All those things you hear about military experiments and changing a man's DNA make a creature fueled only by rage. But that all happened, and I think that maybe they left something behind, or, or maybe, maybe something escaped. So now what, they're chasing you? That dead thing by Group A. That was one of them. You know what? I am getting really sick of your conspiracy pothead bullshit. Professor, you are a smart man. But we stay here. You're gonna learn something. You know what I learned so far? 
You can't do your job. None of the walkies are working. Come with me. What now? Generator's going. There's a short in the system somewhere. see was uh, stuff came out of the barrel and um, it, it, it melted them. Just poured out by itself? Look at this. See through the goddamn wires. Well, you know, it's not my fault. I didn't put that crap there. What worries me is what's uh, in that evil shit. Yeah, what worries me is you being a moron. Yeah, I know, your walkies are dead. Larry replaced them. I'll give you an extra time credit to cover the delay. That's a little present from Mr. Jessup. Is it gonna work? All right, let's head back. We need to fix this. Go uh, check the monitors. Hey, Larry! Where is everybody? One of those corpses is walking around. What did he just say? He said one of the corpses has come to life. What? What the hell is this? You think an animal did this? My money's on the professor. He's playing games with us. He wants to see how we'll react. Grab some samples. Look at them under the microscope. This is no animal.
Where are you going? Rob, come on, you're gonna get us disqualified. I have to follow my instincts. My gut's telling me to get out of here. Well, say hi to your buddy in the orange jumpsuit for me. It's just a test! Where are the others? You tell me. Have you checked all the connections? I saw something on the monitor. And the UA may have to cancel this entire examination. I saw something in the woods. You're both welcome to quit anytime you want. I heard screams. There was screaming. Listen, you're all overreacting, all right? And that's very common when dealing with real corpses for the first time. No, oh, man, we just want to know what's going on. Hey, guys, why don't we just get on the bus and go home? Rob? Is that a gun? Give it to me. I'll go find them. Sit down. You're safer in here. You think that pea shoe is going to help? The thing I saw out there was already deader than dirt. Did you hear that one? Hey, hey, man. What did you see out there? I told you, college boy. I saw a dead person, and he was walking around. I'm going out there. No, 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 man. We stand a better chance together. We stand a better chance if we just roll out of here, call in an airstrike. I think the safety of all of my students is at risk here, Mr. Jessup. Now, are you volunteering to run out and find them, especially after you destroyed all of our equipment? No? Then I suggest that everyone stay put until we can get our eyes and ears up and running. Where's Megan? How the hell should I know? 
What do you mean? Maybe their group was attacked first. What do you mean attacked? What do you mean attacked? What do you mean who? Whoa. Who? Hey, hey, hey. What do you hey, mean? Whoa. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Stop it! Stop hey, it! She can handle herself. She's a fighter. Yeah, that's what worries me. Just stop it, all right? Fighting with each other is not going to help Megan or anybody else. Now, while I don't believe a goddamn word this asshole says, I do concede there may be someone or something out there. I want to find her. Let's go find Rob.
Christ! Goddamn door! We need to kill it. You better pray there's only one. Gasoline. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna make a Molotov cocktail. I think we're gonna burn that bitch. Go 
inside, I'll finish her off. Shoot her in the head. Checking here for some sort of weapon. You all right? Here, I'm not taking any chances. Me either, bro. Daniel! Megan. Where are the others? Kate and Robert are dead. Josh and Patrick are still out there as far as we know. Take this. Lock the door. We'll meet back here. Island. 
We gotta cross that river and we gotta scale barbed wire. How many of them are there? I don't know. My blood. I killed Kate and Rob. I had to. Okay. We're gonna get out of here. Okay. We're gonna get out of here. Oh, yeah. If I get bitten by one of those, you have to shoot me in the head. You listen to me. It's not gonna happen. Okay, you're not gonna turn into one of those things, I promise. Okay. Hey, hey. What is it?
Hey, hey, you got my back. So sorry. There they are. Come out, come out. Get in. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Come on, get in. Get in. Is he okay? All right, go, 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 go. Get us out of here. I'm trying. Holy shit, there's another one. Hold on. Yeah, run him over. Come on, run him over. Hang on. Josh, go.
Get this fixed. I'm gonna pop this back in. Here. Fist in your mouth. Okay, we're gonna go on the count of three. One, two. Daniel? I'm gonna take a look around. I need to get this bullet out of you. But, oh, let's not start digging around in there right now, okay? You wanna keep that in there? Just to remind me of what I did to you every day? Sounds like a good plan.
<laughs> you sure took your time? I heard the bus crack. Anybody else get out? No. Daniel's lost a lot of blood. What happened? He shot him. Tried the walkie. Jesus. Christ, bro, what the hell happened? Oh! Oh! Now, you're gonna tell me what was in those barrels and about the inmate experiments. This was a death camp, wasn't it? I had low-level clearance. They just stopped the lifers on death row. It didn't go well. What happened? Oh! What happened? Something went wrong. They turned it. Uh, but that was years ago. Jesus Christ, you broke my nose. I lost four people in there. Kids! You and whoever the hell else knew about this place are gonna pay. Professor!